DBJ released a video called Top 6 RPG Ideas That Never Work. This is in response to them. I disagree about one of them, politics. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. I'm going to talk about a game called On Guard, and I'll put uh, a link to it. I have a much older version. There is a, it's currently available on Amazon. I ordered my updated copy. It's uh, up to the fourth edition. I have uh, what's called the revised edition, which was the revised from the original. So I guess you'd argue my, I have probably a second edition. I'm not sure how they count editions on it. But On Guard is a game all about politics. But it's completely politically incorrect today. Uh, yes, it, this is uh, uh, one of the games you cannot play a female character. It's impossible. And if you understand the setting, and this is based upon Three Musketeers and things like that, you know that women didn't go out and carouse and do various things like that. And it's a very man's world. The patriarchy is in full power. And yeah, women were delegated to um, the home or um, as courtesan. In fact, women characters are, they're not really characters in there. There are courtesans that you um, want to form allegiances with, shall we say that can help you socially and I'll talk about that in a minute and it's a very unusual and very different kind of RPG it's a lot of fun I've played it and I have to tell the story about um, this we were I got a copy of this and we were playing this when I first started into gaming and some friends and I were playing with it it does have a serious flaw and I'll talk about the one of the problems with on guard but the 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 game mechanics are such that you start off at a certain social level and you have to and you want to go up in social level but unlike dungeons and dragons in most games you can also go down in social level just as fast as you can go up actually easier everything is about social points and you get social points for various things. The reason that this is fascinating is because you get titles and you get positions and you get ranks which all fit into your social level. This is how you, this, these give you social points and this is how you go uh, acquire different titles and positions and jobs and so on. And so what happens is there's this long list of possible positions that if you had a larger enough player characters they could all take over all these positions these are the administrators and so so on that you run into this and I'm not going to go into the specifics but they, they list off all these positions and you know whether you uh, what um, if you go into the military what which group that you go into and who are your friends and who are your allies so we were playing this game and it's really, it really can be a lot of fun because you're playing with it and you've got to, the way to go up, you get to say your eighth level, your social, your social level is eight. That means to maintain your social level, you have to acquire at least eight social points each week. If you don't, you lose a level. And the other thing you have to do is to go up you need three times your level of the next level to go up so you in in one week so you to to go up a level if you're eighth level you need 20 it's ninth level is next so you need three times that you need 27 social points in one week to go up a level so we were gaming with this and i was doing extremely well i i had a, a character who was um uh, at 14th level, I think, which is really getting up there, and it, it's in in the rarefied era of you know you're 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 talking to the king and you're doing various other things like that, and I wanted to go up to 15th level, so you have to get I have to get 45 social points, and where we had extended, we'd added many more courtesans because that was one way to get it, and I was courting this this courtesan, and that the, the you have to um, 
deal with you have to go visit a at least once a month you have to uh have some female companionship or you suffer some problems <laughs> a loss of social status and other issues that can occur with your character but my character you have your normal attributes and if i remember correctly my character had rolled for strength something like three so he was a wimp, very effeminate fop. This was the character I was playing up, and I was having a lot of fun playing the character. And a friend of mine was playing, and he played, um, he was playing two characters. I can't remember what my, other, my second character was, but he wasn't that important. My main character was really trying to go up. But he had, he had this second character, and his second character was born as the bastard son of an impoverished peasant. So normally you start off with social rank of two. He had went to social rank of one. Now his patron was giving him money. So all this guy did was go out and practice with the rapier and practice with the rapier. And his social rank actually dropped to zero because he wasn't doing anything socially. And my friend was playing it up about how awful he was with manners and so on. Now you could only win a courtesan if you're at most two social levels below her. And um, so I was trying to go for this very high uh, courtesan. Well, my friend decided to really put me in my place. So you have everything is by plotting. And so what happens is his character, who is a level zero, and I show up at the doorstep of the courtesan at the same time. Well, this necessitates a duel because I must challenge this brawny monstrosity who has no social etiquette and all he does is practice with the sword. He's basically an assassin. And my character is going, oh... I had, and it was hard to try and figure out how to get that enough social points to go up a level, and I'm expecting to go up a level, and instead I actually dropped two levels. One, because I took one look at the rules and we had to refresh ourselves on how to do a duel, because actually the, there's dueling rules in there, but you rarely ever do them. At least when we were gaming, you rarely ever wanted to get in a duel, and backing out of a duel, you immediately lost a social level, and I had so many other penalties for this whole thing that I ended up not having enough social points, and so I had lost the level I had. And it was all politics because they, you know, I backed out of combat. There was no combat, there was everything, and it's a much more fluid game, and it was a lot of fun. But that brings to the point of how did, how did I get trapped, or what, shall we say, what enticed me into this game? And unlike if you're just playing straight Dungeons and Dragons or some other Pathfinder or whatever, you don't have the concept of social level. You don't have, and getting a title often doesn't mean anything. You don't do that. Maybe you could have that giving a piece of land. And I've heard other uh, blogs or vlogs that talk about giving a character a piece of land, a piece of property. But here, you can become judges, you can become commanders of units in the military, which is at this point in time, you're a, you're a social dilettante. You wouldn't actually go out in the combat. I mean, you're an officer. So the, this is it's very, very social rank uh, geared up, but you can put that into your game. I highly recommend this. I'll put the link of where to get it from Amazon. And it's an example of politics basically a political role-playing game think about that that's what this is this is it that's why when you take a look at game of thrones and all those type of uh, uh, um, machinations whatever machinations that you want to get into it that's and if you enjoy that and i'll recommend a film for you to take a look at look up the lion in winter and that's all about the politics behind the scenes and what's going on. And um, that's got Catherine Hepburn and Peter O'Toole and Anthony Hopkins in it. It's, an, it's a wonderful film. It's one of my favorite Christmas films. 
it's at Christmas, it's set at Christmas, but it's not your normal happy light Christmas film. But it's a, a wonderful film. I believe I did a video about that one too, about recommending it for Christmas. But the politics that goes on throughout that is like what you run into with the game of on guard. So I, this is sort of a, a rebuttal to DBJ that you can never have politics in RPGs. Thank you. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all the comments you give me. If you like this video, press thumbs up. Or if you don't, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate both forms of feedback. If you're new here and would like to subscribe, you can click on the icon on the left or on the right. There should be some links to some additional content. Thank you.